Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called If Statements, and in this video we're going to be diving into a totally new concept with PHP, and I think it's going to be very exciting. So here we go. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 10 If Statements. Go ahead and open up your code editor, and open final.php and practice.php in the 10 If Statements folder. Final.php is the final example we're going to be building and practice.php is where you can utilize the sandbox to build the final example which looks like this yep 20 is certainly less than 50 it's just a string of text and it doesn't look too impressive but it's what happens behind the scenes that's really cool so we'll get there let's jump into the lecture the point of coding in php is to make your website dynamic or smart so that it can make logical decisions what I mean by this is your website can make decisions on what to do next based on user input, user conditions, or parameters you've set yourself. Here are some examples. When a user logs in to their account, they must type both their username and password. But what if their password is wrong? What if they didn't type a valid email address? What if they forgot to type their email address altogether? PHP can handle what to do in these situations using if, else, and else if statements. What about if a customer tries to buy a product online, but what if that product is sold out? PHP can let the user know the product is sold out because you can program it to calculate how many items of that product are remaining. Pretty cool. What if a user uploads an image that is too large? Well, PHP can compare the uploaded image with your parameters and tell the user to upload a smaller image size if it exceeds the limit that you've set, and much more. So let's start with the simple if statement. It works something like this. If this, then that. Okay, I know that was a little vague, but let's expand on it just a bit. So if expression is true, then do something. If expression is false, then don't do anything. What's an expression? You're probably wondering what an expression is. Well, here's how php.net explains what an expression is. Expressions are the most important building stones of PHP. In PHP, almost anything you write is an expression. The simplest yet most accurate way to define an expression is anything that has a value. The most basic forms of expressions are constants and variables. When you type variable a equals 5, you're assigning 5 into variable a. 5 obviously has the value 5, or in other words, 5 is an expression with the value of 5. In this case, 5 is an integer constant. So hopefully that made sense, but basically all you need to know is an expression is anything that has a value. So let's jump back into if statements. So let's see what they actually look like in PHP now that we know the syntax. So if expression, and then in your curly brackets, the code to execute if the expression evaluates to true. So if we expand on that further, it looks a little more like this. So we'll set some variables. We have a equals 20 and b equals 50. Now, if a is less than b, which is obviously true, because 20 is less than 50, so this will evaluate to true, and it will echo this statement. Yep, a is currently less than b, but because we're using PHP, it won't say a, it will actually say the value of that variable, so 20 is certainly less than 50. So as you can see, we are using the less than symbol, to check if the variable a is smaller than the variable b. If the expression is true, then PHP will echo the text, yep, 20 is certainly less than 50. And if it's false, it just dies, nothing happens. Now, we'll jump into a little later in the next lecture what happens if something is false, but for now, let's leave it like this. If statements can be incredibly powerful, but these are just some very basic examples to get you started. So why don't we jump in and actually try out your first if statement. 
All right, so in your practice.php file in your code editor under 10 if statements, let's do our housekeeping. There are things that we regularly do at the beginning of our lectures. And let's define our constant for the title. And the title on this one is if statements and then our custom variables. So that would be my name and you will put your name and the lesson number in the context of our folder. So 10 in the case of this one. All right, and we're gonna have to set a couple simple variables here. We're gonna do A, which equals 20, and B, which equals 50. And now let's just add our title here using our PHP echo function and echo the constant. And then we're also going to echo that same title. So just copy that PHP script and paste it between the small tags. And then the lesson number that we defined in our variable PHP echo lesson num. And then down at the bottom, we have the year. We're going to use our PHP echo date year. And then our name variable will echo right here. PHP echo my name. So let's jump into our sandbox here and do our first PHP if statement. So start your PHP script and in between there, write if. So here's the skeleton of an if statement, if. And then your parentheses, curly brackets. And in here, we're going to add our expression. And that will be if A is less than B. And then if it evaluates to true, let's do something in between our if statement in the curly brackets. Echo. Yep. A, the variable A, is certainly less than B. And then we'll end that with a semicolon. Save that. Now let's check out your example in practice.php. Yep, 20 is certainly less than 50. Now you might be wondering, well, that's just, that's there just because I wrote echo, like I don't see the if statement working. Well, if you want to see that the if statement is actually working, why don't you change the values of the variable to see what happens? So let's make A 200. So A is no longer less than B. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Nothing's there. The if statement just dies because A is not less than B in this case. So let's put that back to 20. Check it out again. There it is. 20 is certainly less than 50. So that's it for our if statement lecture. We're going to keep going in the next one and dive into else statements, which you tag on to the end of your if statement. If this is true, then do something else, meaning if it's false, then do something else. So we're going to jump into that in the next lecture. I'll see you there.